and welcome back to another exciting edition of Mag Sam's. Let's play Golden Sun. I am RM2K Mitty, and with me is... I give you every greeting because I am Death Drawn Hammer. We just made it through that desert, and that desert really sucked. It was hot, hot, hot with no tamales. So we just spent some time by this river, chilling, you know, not doing much. Dipping our feet. Now we're going to head out. Feet are sufficiently dipped. This might be... Nope. Mad vermin? Bro, your vermin's mad! Come on! Did I even do... Did I do this in the last episode? I do not know! There's a genie on one of these islands. I think this is the one, but... Don't quote me on that. The one that looks like a plus symbol. Nope. Um, poor Ivan, he's being left behind in the fights. Talk down the mad vermin, will you, Ivan? But, but, later. They bite him repeatedly. <laughs> Undead, that's all it's called. Well, what do you expect? Undead ass? Undead lone shark? I'm dead schmuck who borrowed from the Lone Shark. Is this it? I'm dead fool who was killed by the schmuck who borrowed from the Lone Shark so he could buy a gun to kill the fool? I don't feel like spending money to bring Ivan back. We can do that next time we get to a village, yeah. Those waters of life aren't cheap. I'm so feeling. You're saying life's expensive, but death is cheap. Yes. Come on. Hey, this might be good grinding in a way. No, not really. It should have come up by now. This isn't the island. I feel dumb. Leave me alone! Well, he's mad, yo! What did you do? What did you do to piss him off? Here's the town. Let's bring him back to life. Kele. Welcome to Kele. You may enter, so long as you do not disrupt the peace. Ah, wrong one. Shut up. You're a jerk. I only wanted to greet you again. And what you do, you tell me to shut up. But you're the one who waved at me and made eye contact. I'm gonna read your mind. Hmm, this young warrior has honest eyes and a good demeanor. A man like that is never evil. We soldiers protect the police of Kale with our lives. Our job requires us to judge whether to allow a visitor into Kale. Kind of shit at the job. They just want, let us walk in. I can't put the rumors about Lord Hammond being captured by thieves out of my head. But the Lord's wife, Leanna, speaks little of it. I had no idea that Lumbo is just north of Vault. It's funny that a city merchant could be so close to a city of thieves. People say Lord Hammond went north from Vault after Mount Aleph erupted. No one knows what happened to him or his caravan after that. There's so many rumors now, no one knows what the truth is. What a mad, mad world. Alright. What do you want? The most important skill for a merchant is the ability to discern quality. Anyone can do that, can be a successful merchant these days. The most important thing is not to betray your customer's trust in you. Lord Hammond's lessons are more precious to me than treasure. They will make me a lot of money! That's all of the, the only reason he follows Lord Hammond's advice is because of the money. Well, it's the money that's dubbed. So is that sparkly thing down there? No, but do go on. 
that tells you there's an item. So I don't have to go clicking around. Eleven coins! Is that your treasure, dude? From Lord's Hammond Advice? Ah! Ah! My son recently received his knack for business from Lord Hammond. Uh, not recently, but... You get the picture. Recently. Nice, it's at a great crossroads. She organized east and told me west. This is the perfect place to do business. He guess at the inn are tourists in their way to see the Colosso. Seems like a lot of hassle just to travel to Toby just for a carnival. Read your mind. Actually, I wish I was going to Coloso. I should have saved my money. Then I'd be able to go to go on the tour too. I'm a just a bit to lay here. It's because it's in a prime trading location. Lord Hammond truly is a smart man. I had a rumor that there's trouble in the Lamakin Desert. It's an evil desert. Strange things have been happening all across the land lately. What's this world coming to? It's coming to your doorstep. No one is allowed to go to Vault, even though the bridge has been rebuilt. Oh, the bridge has been rebuilt? But I did because of the eruption of Mount Lev. I'm an adult now. I don't want my father ordering me around. But he still changes my diapers. I do not want my son to face any danger. I'm actually grateful for Lord Lyonna's orders. I don't care how my son feels. I can't allow him to go north, even though he's a grown man. And already bald. Already bald? Wait, like, in full beard. The man looks like <laughs> he's like, late 30s or 40s. Poor guy. Let's find the uh, temple. I came to Calais because I didn't like Toby. You want to know why? Okay. Because Bobby, the ruler of Toby, frightens me. He has ruled Toby for more than a hundred years, they say. The difference between Calais and Toby is their leaders. Lord Hamlet rules with trust, while Lord Bobby rules with force. I'm shocked to hear the righteous thieves of Lumpa have gone bad. They say Lumpa's grandson was responsible for it. I'm gonna read his mind. Everyone has to have their mind read. The region north of Vault was once a safe place, but nowadays it's very dangerous. I like how the thoughts always relate to what they just said. Lumpa was a kind thief. His son Dampa, he's an honorable thief too. He's dull. But he was just. Lumpa's grandson, Dodampa, is another story. He doesn't even think twice about doing evil. Lumpa's reputation is very bad nowadays. Evil doers. Beware, I am here to give you a scare. Cause we're gonna party over here, party over there. We did a little bit of this, and a little bit of that. And then the sheriff's son said, enough of that crack. Well, we didn't listen. It was just the sheriff's son. I mean, yeah. he has no authority. Go ahead. Call your dad. What are you going to do? <laughs> oh, I'm behind this. Did you find what we needed in the weapon shop? No. Uh, you said only the finest items. Goliath's weapons and armor are without equal. I put the armor from Toby may be stronger, but ours have soul. I'll shop later. Off camera. I don't know why I collect these nuts. I don't even use them. Because you're a hoarder? Yes, I am. A dirty, dirty hoarder. This looks like a temple. Welcome, weary wanderers. What aid do you seek? Huh, you were down in a battle need reviving, do you? Who should I revive? It's getting more expensive. <sighs> Reviving Ivan requires a donation of 320 coins, okay? Now I'll call upon my healing powers. This is just a syringe from the looks of it. Oh! 
The holy adrenaline <laughs> shot to the heart. Ivan has been revived. Do you wish for more aid? No. I never need these other ones. It never comes up. I seriously don't get it. Let's go up to the inn. Many of the guests here seem to be heading to Toby. Colossus is so common. What's so great about it? Go downstairs and see the basement. Everyone's going to Col Tolby to see the Colossal Carnival there. Kaylee will feel so empty. Every year, everyone goes to Tolby for Colossal. We can't help that. Well, make a rival to his sisters. La Vivero, where I'm from, is the largest village in Gondowan. Kaylee is quite large too, but it's a little too noisy around here. It looks like Colossa will soon begin in Toldy. Oh, this first chest to go to a festival seems kind of ridiculous. We fled from Gondwin to the south. We lived in Laviero, where it's a great village until the Tolbians came. I fled all the way and now I won't have troubles for speaking the truth. Get trouble for speaking the truth. How wonderful it is to be free. Wild and free! Wild and free. We're so strong, making the finals will be a piece of cake. Then, Aronos and I will fight each other for the championship. We are the toughest of all warriors. We will never lose. If you are entering Colossal, you don't even stand a chance of winning. It's because this year both of us are entering. I have power and Sean has speed. Together we have nothing to fear. Okay, uh, enjoy your American gladiators. Huh. This must be the room we slept in. Nothing. See, I don't have to go searching through the boxes anymore. Your sight doesn't fall. Nope. Do you know about the continent south of Toby? I've only heard about it a hundred times, yes! <laughs> the guest's next door is just like we come from Gondolin. Okay. People from the continent south of Angara have rich, bronze skin. Okay. Better get ready! Colosso Tour is about to leave! We're all going to Toby to see Colosso! I hope we can visit the southwest continent too. Southern continent too. I'm pretty excited. Because this is my first time visiting Tolby. Let's hurry up and get going! Okay. Man, everyone here is just saying boring shit. I've signed on for a <laughs> tour group going for Tolby. I can't believe the time was time for the Colosso! Turning group is the only way to travel. Every need is cared for. No! I'm not going to Tolby! Merchants are always coming up with new ideas at the Colosso Tour. <laughs> They're meeting up at the restaurant. It must be time to leave. With their ideas to not go to Tolby, to make track people into wanting to go to Tolby. I don't want to hear about Tolby. Alright, what's going on with you? Ah! I would have entered the Colosso if I were only a little younger. What a shame. My animal instincts start to wake up as soon as I see the Colosso battle. Um, you guys suck. I'll come back here later. Screw you guys. I don't want to hear another word about Tolby. Or Colosso. Ah! I hear Colosso is incredible. I'd love to see such a huge carnival. Everybody in town is talking about Colosso. Maybe when I'm older, I get to go find in Colosso. A huge mountain to the north, rim, north of the river erected violently. I think it was called Mount Aleph. During the volcano's eruption, odd gems and rocks fell from the sky. This is Lord Hammett's place. The Lord is away. Please, be gone. 
We will happily welcome visitors once Lord Hammond has returned. Leave this to me. Bizai, please permit me to see Lady Eliana. Don't you recognize me? I'm Ivan, servant of Lord Hammond. Ivan? I don't recognize you. You're so tan. But is it really... But it really is you, Ivan. Oh, it's Ivan. You've grown so much in the short time, Ivan. Ivan, Ivan. I really changed that much? Uh, no. You probably wouldn't know. You only got to meet me after I got left in vault. That doesn't matter. What's important is that the thieves freed you. Huh? Please tell us Lord Hammond will be freed soon, too. Freed? Lord Hammond is a prisoner? You haven't heard? I can see we'll need to fill you in on everything. This is a private matter. Would you have friends please leave? Sure, let's go back to the inn and talk about Colossa. No, Isaac. There's no secrets between us. Very well, then. Why were you not with Lord Hammett? I don't get it. I remained in vault to search for his stolen rod. Stolen? Someone stole his rod? Yes, the shaman's rod, but I was able to recover it. Lord Hammond must still be in prison in Lumpa. You must report this to Lady Leona. Ivan, come see Lady Leona with me. You can explain it all to her. You have some explaining to do. Isaac, you saw the Lord Hammond. You saw Lord Hammond heading to the north, didn't you? Sure. You must have been where when Lord Hammett went up to went towards Lumpa. Lady Leanna will be glad to hear your tale. Please come with me. And tell her the full story. Luke Skywalker, blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Darth Vader, blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. blah. And that's where I left my pants. I heard that you were back, Ivan. I dared to hope. The Lord Hammond had returned with you. We thought Lord Hammond had been released from Lunpa, too. We sent the ransom money where they demanded, so he should return soon, right? What's been happening in Lupa these days? The leadership in Lumpa passed from its founder, Lumpa, the noble thief, to his son, Dampa, and then to Lumpa's grandson. The Dampa is a very evil man. His father, Dampa, is heartbroken at the state of Lumpa now. When did you send the ransom money? Let's see. First the volcano erupted, and the ransom note came right after the eruption. We rushed the money to them right away. I remember it well. It's been quite a while since the eruption. Is it possible they have no intention of letting Lord Hammett go? No, they'll, they'll surely release him. You gave him the money, right? Maybe a Stockholm. I don't want to believe it either, but something seems wrong about this. Are you saying that Dolpa won't release Lord Hammett? I agree with Ivan. If they were going to release him, they'd have done it by now. I'm sorry, Lady Leona, but I think Ivan might be right. What should we do? How can we rescue Lord Hammond? What if something's happened to him? Let us handle this. My lady, this is exactly what the soldier of Calais are here for. Uh, yes, Lord, Lady Lana. Please let us handle this. Command us to attack and we shall. We cannot do that. Not with thinking it over carefully. 
How can we guarantee Hammett's safety if we send the soldiers to attack? I cannot do it. I cannot put Lord Hammett's life at risk. Can't we do something to help? No. What? Look, we both know Hammett's life is in danger. What are you two talking about? Garrett thinks we can help. It's too dangerous. If you fail, your life will be in danger too. Besides, don't you have to pursue your own quests? Don't you have your own quests to pursue? Yeah. I thought so. I knew there had to be a reason that Ivan had stayed with you. Instead of returning directly home from Vault, you have that in the bridge being out. Then what will happen to Lord Hammond? Hammond is a good hostage for them. They will not kill him. We shall wait for another message from Lumpa. Lady Liana, I cannot leave like this. It will be fine, Ivan. Hammett will not distract you. I do not want Hammett to distract you from... I apologize. I should have said... I've said more than I should have. It sounds like Hammett knows about our mission. Doesn't it? I suppose I cannot keep it a secret any... Keep it a secret no longer. Very well. I shall tell you. We, he swore an oath to a Jupiter Adept. A Jupiter Adept? You heard of a village called Vale? No, never heard of it. You are from Vale, really? And the prophecy was true. What prophecy? Ten years after the terrible storm that struck only Mount Aleph. Three years. Three years. Ivan must depart on a journey with the warriors from Vale. So it was foretold. I've heard nothing of any such prophecy. It happened several years before Hammett founded Kayleigh. He was off tra he was off traveling. Hammett felt he must had reached an impasse as a merchant then. He risked his life on a new journey to find a new source of business. He was in mortal danger at the southeastern edge of the world when some adepts appeared and saved his life. When he had lost consciousness, when he had awoke, he found himself in their village. Just a moment, am I from that village? Yes, the adepts gave him the shaman's rod and you, along with some doubloons. Doubloons? Were they golden doubloons? Yes, let's see, they're called... You are called... I am Mia, Lady Leon. It's a lot of gold, Mia. But he'd also received some business advice. Business advice? Hammett? The greatest merchant ever known? Yes, Garrett. Hammett has the adepts to thank for his success. Cheater. Wow, I've never heard anything like that. He was advised to buy silk and jean and sell it in Tolby. S to see anything sell so well, it's like a dream come true. There's no denying that Hammett was picked when Hammett picked that was when Hammett picked up a knack for his business. Did he have to return did he have to promise them anything in return? Yes, Ivan, it's something you will need on your journey. Something we will need on our journey. Adept asked Hammett to use the shaman's rod. Asked Hammett to use the shaman's rod to obtain it. That doesn't make any sense. He looked for this object wherever he went, but he could never find it. Then three years ago, a storm struck. The one that hit only Mount Aleph. Hammett was worried the time was running out. But he managed to unearth a clue just in time. That, Ivan, is why he took you on his caravan. To... This is why he took you on that last caravan to the last journey north. I had no idea. So it must be why he left the rod in my care. But then... 
No, Ivan. You mustn't blame yourself. It was my carelessness that caused the rod to be stolen, and ultimately, that's why Lord Hamlet is being held in Lumpa. You must continue your journey and complete the quest. You cannot blame yourself. But what will happen to Lord Hammett? I will handle this. And don't forget the soldiers of Kele! Continue on your journey. You do not have to worry about Hammett. I'm sorry I can't tell you any more about the Shaman's Rod. No, don't apologize. The Shaman's Rod will help us find that thing we need for our quest, right? Will you look for it? Mm, sure. If Isaac says we will, then there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Very well. Take care of yourselves. Return to your posts, everyone. Inside, Isaac. Adampa is a very shrewd man. He must have sent spies into Kale. We cannot risk sending our soldiers out yet. Is this right decision, Hammett? Am I making a mistake? No, Isaac comes across as a dude. Isaac, we gotta help this guy. No! But, no! I don't want to! No! Those are some nice beds. Leona is putting up a strong front wherever people are around. It's so hard to see her like this, son butler. Lady Leona was crying again last night. I wish there was something I could do. But all I could offer was trumpets. Merchants are supposed to be protected under the laws of Angara. Godampa must truly be evil to break such a law. Yeah, these criminals never worry. Never break any laws. And to think we almost went on that caravan with Hammett. I don't know. Has the legacy of Lord Hammett's silk trading come to an end? Yeah! How can you say that? Lady Leona would be devastated! No! You're right! I never should have said that. I feel terrible now. <laughs> Lord Hammond is a legend among merchants. Kaylee can't survive without him! There, there. There, 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 there. Oh, a treasure chest. I should have steal from them. Water jacket. It's a jacket made out of water? Is that like Titus' sword in Final Fantasy X, The Brotherhood? How does that work? Because it was the sword with the water, so it's like a, ja <laughs> a jacket. It's like, yep, I'm wearing a jacket made out of water. Resist water and fire. But it reduces the agility. Wait, I'll just sell it. Keep exploring. And keep adoring. Alright. Townsfolk don't know about Lord Hammett, do they? Yes, they do. They're all talking about it. I'm sure the villagers would panic if they knew Hammett was hostage. Must be sure do not. We must be sure we do not show it. Is that his kid? Lord Hammett will be released soon, right? Sure, you give the ransom money. Of course, he'll be released. Upset. So. Otherwise, Leona would be overwhelmed by sorrow. It wouldn't hurt you to lie a little, you know. Everyone's heard about Lord Hammond, but the whole can talk about it openly. The means of freedom will mean the end of candy. Okay. Oh wait, there's a down... Downstairs. Side nope. to side. There's nothing... Use your supervision. X-ray vision. Hidden truths. No. 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 Say no to the Pope. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Nope. But it rhymed, and that's the most important thing. 
Any rhyme becomes a valid truth. It, it becomes to completely valid. If it sounds good, it must be true. Yes. Even if you just made it up last week. Exactly. That's what I always say. Somehow, the North has become the center of much attention lately. Why is that? Why are they talking about Colosso? Three years ago, thieves raided Man Alive. It was quite a story. Ever since, the North lost its reputation for being a safe place. Merchant from, came from Vault. He said many things about the North. Then the soldiers came and took him to Lord Hammond's palace. How they tortured him to death. <laughs> they said the northern parts are dangerous too. Maybe our town is the only place that's still safe. Uh, you can see him stabbing him with spears and. Uh, uh. You know something. I don't know anything! <laughs> you know something. What is Dodonpa planning? I don't know! <laughs> yes, you do. Who's Dodonpa? <laughs> You've already been here. That's about all the time we have for this episode. Join us next time on another talky episode of MagSab Let's Play Golden Sun. Have a wonderful night. Stay beautiful. <laughs>